I'm going to make a mayonnaise now to show you how to make a mayonnaise. So there are small eggs. So I have three, right? Mustard. The proportion there are not that important. Salt, pepper. What I'm saying is that if I had two egg yolk rather than three, it would work. If I had a bit less or a bit more mustard, it would work just as well. And a dash of vinegar. Okay, this is the base of your mayonnaise that you work. And then to that you have to have the oil. The most important thing that you have to realize, the oil cannot be ice cold. You know, sometimes it's difficult to hold and pour at the same time, so my friend gave me this, which is really terrific. You push it on it and that, look at that, it holds by itself. So then I pour the oil in it. You're supposed to go very slowly when you put the oil. Tell you the truth, you don't have to go that slowly. And again, the oil, you can have a little bit of, uh, for example, I don't know, walnut oil, which is a very strong in flavor. You would want to use that maybe with a can of oil. Or then half olive oil and half uh, peanut oil or something like this. And basically my mayonnaise is finished here. As you can see, when I put the dough, they get together and they get to be, you know, that consistency of a mayonnaise. It is true, however, if I pour that oil way, way too fast here in great quantity, then it will break down. Or if you have it in your refrigerator and you take it out of your refrigerator ice cold, it will break down. And this is what it will look like when it's break down. It's all broken and separated. I can take one egg yolk or a bit of vinegar or some mustard, anything that I put in to start with and start putting it back together. I can even try to do it in the same bowl. I put a little bit of that on the side here and I will put the point of my, just in this and make the top of it, just the top of it to know whether it's getting smooth together. And I think it's getting smooth together. So if it's smooth together, I will go slightly deeper in the bowl with my whisk. Then I will get a little deeper and a little deeper. And now basically I'm at the bottom of the bowl. So I will try to do a little more round like this. And basically the mayonnaise, basically the mayonnaise now is back together. You want to present the mayonnaise, you see a nice way is to put it into a little bowl like this. We garnish the mayonnaise with all kind of thing and it change name, it become a tartar sauce, a gribiche and so forth. I like usually to, see when I do that I turn the bowl, I don't turn the spatula to make it smooth on top. And then after you can move your spatula. And if you want to go a bit farther, I did that tomato before that tomato rose. It would be nice right on top of it to do a nice presentation of mayonnaise.